Hello there, Fuzzy here. Today I am playing a game called The Survey. You may notice I'm a little bit darker than usual. Now I'm really bright. <laughs> this is because it's a horror game and I'm sitting in the darkness. Illuminated only by a little bit of light coming from the hallway and my screen. I'm not looking forward to playing this. Um, a friend of mine, some absolute caring friend, purchased this for me because he knows I am terrified of um, things like this. Without further ado, let's get into it. This game does include, as far as I'm aware, it does include some jump scares. So if you're not into that kind of thing, uh, suffer it like I am. This music is terrifying. Press the space key to start, here we go. There we go. Now my camera is, whoa, that's a shadow. That's just a shadow. Um, there's a light switch. Oh, there's a torch on the floor. You know if there's a torch in a game, it's gonna be shit scary. Where is it? There. Press F to, oh my god. Um. Oh. Oh. Channel 8, there's a, I don't want the TV on. That's terrifying. Can I put the, can I just turn the light on? Oh, I can. Oh, that's so much better. Why the fuck is that swinging? What's IVD? That's four. Four, four D? Can I open doors? Oh, I can. There's a washer. Can I turn it on? No. Why would I want to turn it on? What a retarded thing to say. That was the cat, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. <laughs> Why would you have a room with a smashed up chair in it? And a, another TV. Oh. This light's going on, I'll tell you that much for free. What the hell? What's this? Oh my God. Why is it running water? Is that in here? This must be the bathroom. Oh my God, the tap is on. Never look in the mirror. Don't. <laughs> I've seen Psycho. Don't fucking go behind the shower curtain. What's this room? Locked is what that room is. Let's just go downstairs. Run away from all this shit. Let's turn the light on for God's sake. Oh, that's creepy, isn't it? Candle. Up a closet. What's with this dirt everywhere? Who lives here? It's disgusting. Sort your life out. Oh, why is that moving now? Plant. What is that? Cake? Can I eat the cake? Is it cake? That doesn't even look like cake, does it? Why did I say it's a cake? What the hell? What's with all the smashed plants? Why are they all moving? Let's have a look out the window. Oh wow, this room is terrifying. Pizza! Why would you leave that there? What's with the taps? There's a telephone. If there, I'm going to read this first. Press P to open the pause menu, view documents under documents. I'll tell you what, I'll shut the phone up and then I'll read that. 
Okay. Your cell phone was a space bomb. Wow. This is fucking eerie. Whoa, what is that? Lilith is six years old. While Marcus is, I think, four. The other day she was painting. Basically, Lilith, the little girl, draws incredible weird paintings. Replicating the painting in the kitchen. Shall we see what the painting in the kitchen is? Is it this one? The Last Supper? Why would you have the fire and the, and the fan on? Uh, oh yeah, the phone. And, uh, locked. Enter five digit. You never know. One master bedroom. Two other bedroom. Three living room. Look for channel numbers. Unlock it quickly. She's watching you. Come on. Don't leave the static on for too long. It makes her ears bleed. Oh, for God's sake. Right now, she's upstairs. Waiting for you. Fuck. For a moment, I thought that was Marilyn Monroe. 82997. Oh, yeah. Closet.jpg Help.jpg Wow Welcome to the survey, you have been chosen to Oh yeah Press continue to begin Are you currently situated in your home? Uh, yes Are you currently employed? Uh, yes Do you use your mobile device often? Uh, yeah. Do you forget your password for your mobile device? No. Was finding the password for your phone easy or hard? Easy. Is there anyone with you in your house currently? Oh my god. I'm gonna ha <laughs> Uh, no. Is there anyone supposed to be with you currently? No. Are you a college student? No. Do you enjoy being home alone? <sighs> yes. Does it ever feel creepy? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Yes. Have you ever experienced the phenomenon of feeling as you're being watched? But in reality, you're not. Oh, for God's sake, yes. Especially when around certain paintings, dolls, or statues. Oh, and it is, yes, yes, there is the weird painting that freaked me out on the statue. How many televisions are currently in your house? Two plus. Thank you for participation. Please take a short break. We will continue the survey shortly. Short break, meaning, meaning that something's gonna fucking freak me out. Why the fuck do I play this? I'm terrified. I don't want to play this anymore. Can I just leave and go somewhere else? Oh, don't turn the light off. What am I doing now? Going back upstairs is probably the. Oh my fucking god! What the hell was that? It's one of the things where you don't want to go and investigate, but you know you have to to advance. Oh, the TV's on for God's sake. What the f... Has that always been there? What the fuck? What does this say? Oh... Oh, it's about the little girl, of course. Lilith Walker began painting when she was six, though only being 12. A child prodigy is able to recreate masterpieces with only rudimentary materials. <sighs> the tap is on. She also enjoys turning the tap on and freaking me the fuck out. 
I'm genuinely scared. I'm not going to lie to you. i am got shivers and I'm genuinely scared. But like I said, I'm a complete pussy when it comes to this sort of thing. Is there anything else on the phone? Oh, there is. For the next portion of the survey, we will need you to fulfill a request. We need you to check if your bathroom appliances are working, specifically the sink and light switches. Please enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check if those appliances are working. For God's sake. This is not going to be good. Okay, there's a letter. What the? F what the? F I asked mum to get me a diary after my first painting sold. I just thought it would be nice to write some of my thoughts. Mum and dad want me to keep painting, but I don't know if I should. This noise is fucking creeping me out. Uh, it seems like all they want to do is make money from it. The report came in the other day, his name was Rick Driver. Asked me a bunch of questions. Uh, she doesn't like painting. I'm a, I actually like playing the violin and piano more than painting. I know how much he loves writing. It seems like mum and dad barely even pay attention to him. Ah, oh, Marcus. Maybe he hates me, what if I'm lucky? Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll trip, fall down the stairs and break my arm so I can't paint it anymore, at least for a while. Yeah, the tab works fine. This is not somewhere I feel like I want to be. What do I need to do now? I've done those. Are they working properly? Yes. Did you notice anything strange? <laughs> yeah, there was like some crying guy going noise. Fuck off. Do you enjoy listening to music? Yes. Do you enjoy listening to rock music? Yes. Do you enjoy listening to rap? Yeah, I don't mind some rap. Do you like classical? Yeah. Do you remember your sister's taste in music? Uh, do you remember her playing any songs on a violin? No. Were you ever jealous of how gifted she was? No. Oh, for God's sake. Can we have a song you might enjoy listening to? Turn on the radio downstairs and listen to the song. Ah. Oh. Lilith, why do you do this to me? Oh, it's the one from the menu, is it? Nice violin tune. Why does she keep putting taps on, my sister? I really want to eat that. I'm really hungry. That was a beautiful song. I have a very talented sister there. Beautiful song. What am I supposed to be doing now? Oh my... Fucking hell. Oh God! Why do I play these fucking games? Seriously. Flickering lights is never a good sign. I want to get that scene too, you need an electrician. What's this say? Oh, fucking hell. Um, if you want to read it, feel free to pause the video and read it. No, I think I'd rather have the light on and flickering than completely off, if I'm honest. Oh! oh fuck, another one of them little bastards. What the f Can I just get into bed and just sleep and have this all be over and done with? Can't go in there. Where am I supposed to be going? 
Oh my god. Don't tell me this is a basement. If this is a basement, it's getting uninstalled. What the? Hello? No, no, just no. What's that say? Lilith, note number two. I'm kind of sad. I mean, I'm only 15, but mum and dad are driving this whole painting thing a little crazy. They keep asking me to paint for hours and hours and hours. I really like playing violin. Well, there's no going in there, so... Thank fuck for that. Where do I need to be going? Oh! Oh, the key for the door. Great. If there's ever a basement or an attic in a video game, not not a video game, if there's ever a basement or an attic in a horror thing, you don't want to be going in there. All right, <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's just a closet with a rake and a spade and a broken chair. Oh, the dad beats up the brother. Blood started to drip from his nose and eventually his lip came open, he kicked him so he was a bloody mess, he poured booze all over him. Mum turned a blind eye and started cleaning up the blood. He was unconscious. He didn't say anything. All he did was smile. He had a grin on his face. Wow. That dad is a complete pro <laughs> Oh my god. That dad is a complete prick. I tell you that for oh Come on. Come on, really. I thought the song finished. That, them fucking angel things. Jesus Christ. They're horrible. I suppose I've got to go back up the stairs. Not something I really fancy doing. If I'm completely on what the f Okay, that's not too bad. Still, it's a bit terrifying. <laughs> Just a little bit. I do not like the sound of this. Bassy noise. Death of two siblings. Two bodies were recovered after a fire erupts. Am I dead? The fire apparently started late at night as neighbours were one to report the incidents. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be a brother and sister in the late teens. Oh no. I'm burnt to a crisp. The two were home alone while their mother was on a business trip. Uh, how the fire started is not clear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was knocked over could have caused a tragedy. Officials have not ruled out foul play as a cause, but aren't suspicious of it due to the circumstances of the situation. Wow. I do not like this noise. Not one, but what the fuck is that? I'm moving really slow. I can't go out there. Oh my fuck! <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, am I being stabbed? What is that noise? Wow. At least I've got to go to bed. Eight, nine, two, six, Eight, nine, two, six, four. Oh, it must be these things. This is four. So this is last one. I remember, I think there was, I see one in, yeah, in here. Two. So the others are down the creepy stairs. This is eight. G O. So eight. Oh. Yes. D I. God dear. So eight nine. Is d. God is d. It's probably dead, isn't it? God is dead. It has to be. There. Yeah, it's got to be dead. Six. That is there. Oh, what's he gonna do? 
Ain't nothing. God is dead. Oh, it's opened this door. Let's go in here then, I suppose. Oh, it's where she did painting. What does this say? The screaming, the crying. Can you hear it? Something. Two. Oh, I don't like this. What does this say? What the fuck was that? I can't move. Today I woke up and I can't really explain it, but my right hip just feels extremely stiff. And now there's a smashing noise. Oh, that fell down. They fell down. Okay. That does. Oh, I didn't really like it. Enjoy. Didn't really enjoy opening that door. Every, all the paintings are falling off. Oh, it's the guy from the from the cover, and he's crying. That I do not like. Oh, there's some things here. There's a couple of notes. We'll read this one first. My parents took Lou to a hospital after my sister said she felt immobile around her hip. She said it felt stiff as, all the mu as if all the muscles turned to bone. The other day, Dad threw me down the stairs because Lily's paintings weren't selling as much as they used to. Wow, that Dad is a prick. It's difficult in regards to diagnosing your daughter's specific condition. We've concluded that it's fibrodysplasia, something I can't read. It's very rare, but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue becomes ossified, basically turned into bone. Oh. Your daughter, blah, blah, blah. Your daughter might be able to make it to the age of 40 if she's lucky. It sounds like Mr. Blobby. Ah, the cell phone, of course. I forgot about that. Did you enjoy the song? Yes. Do you remember what happened to her? Uh, she was burnt and went to the hospital. We died? Do you remember what happened to your family? They were on holiday. They were on business trips. And my dad was a prick. Have you seen her? Have I seen her? I'm not sure, no? Are you lying? No? She's watching you. Do you feel her eyes on you? Definitely. If you ever see something that says turn around, don't do it. I could hear footsteps before. Error eight two nine nine seven. Okay. Ha! Turn around and she wasn't there. In your face, game. I'm gonna have to use this hint because I haven't got a clue where I'm supposed to be going. Or what I'm supposed to be doing. Enter the small bedroom and turn on the TV. AMD! Enter the small bedroom, turn on the TV, and listen to the message. Pick up the note outside the door. How would I have ever guessed that? That that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Eventually, a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the walkers to become financially stable simply by selling Lilith's art. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 a piece, depending on the buyer. Due to this high demand, Joseph and Mary began to live life far above their means, taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. It started off with Joseph burning Marcus with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Slowly, the abuse became worse and more intense, until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. 
He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. Um. Well, this is terrifying. He couldn't have been happier. I can't get out the door. That sounds terrifying. I did. It's knocking on the door, for fuck's sake. Stop knocking on the door! Go away! Just come in! Just scare me already! Oh god. Okay, they're not here. There's a note though. My parents gave me the news, I have his condition, blah blah blah. Um, I'll eventually lose mobility in my arms, legs, neck, neck and everywhere until I need a caretaker to do everything for me. Poor Lilith! Ah, here's a, here's a note, at last. I do not like the sound of that. I overheard them talking about what Lilith's condition was. She has a bone disorder. She does, it's very sad gets worse and worse over time. Mum and Dad were screaming at each other. I've never seen them argue like that. Um, they've been trying to find work. Dad hasn't had any luck. Did more research is incurable. My parents are in a state of panic. <laughs> so am I. I heard a banging noise, I guess. It was uh, from downstairs, I suppose. Oh, it's here. Another note. Mom showed him the divorce paperwork and he was livid. Thanks, Dad. I guess in the end everyone gets what they deserve. Wow. Okay. Oh, my fucking... It's one of those... Oh, Jesus Christ! This note say suicide note. Wow. Okay. It's been hard the last year. I've been working overtime. I was told that Lilith died a horrific death, burning alive as the flames consumed her. Deep. And I'm guessing. Ah, oh, another one of those. I was gonna say, I'm guessing I have to go to the bedroom, but maybe not. I thought maybe she hung herself in the closet. You know, maybe she was in there. What's this talking? Okay, doors are closing. It's been a year since I've been diagnosed. It's got worse. I'm losing control of my hands. It's getting difficult to write. It doesn't look like it. I mean, look at that handwriting. Oh, for fuck. Why has the light gone off? And there's an image. And the piano playing. <laughs> This I do not like, and I cannot turn the light back on. Well, nor can I go outside the door. Oh. Oh my. Oh, that was my phone, shit. 
And it was the guy who gave me this game who texted me. Stop shitting me up. Wait, that's coming to this door, isn't it? Is that... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, fuck off. I'm not watching. I'm not watching this. Holy hell. The door is opening slowly and the thing is going to come and it's going to... It's going to get me. No, I'm just going to go for it. Outside the door. Oh, it wasn't there. And it wasn't there. My good God. Let's pick this up. What? It's in there. Is it in there? Let's read this first. Uh, I can barely keep up with everything. Going to university. Um... Last night I saw somebody disturbing as I made my way to my room. Luda's door was slightly ajar and I could hear this high-pitched scraping sound. It's my sister scraping her nails against the wall. I turned the light on and there was blood covering her hand. She was running the tips of her fingers up the wall to the point where her fingernails were loosely attached. Wow. Okay. Wait, that's not that room. This is her room in here. This isn't going to be fun. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's locked. Wow. Shall I go downstairs? Okay, no, the door's slightly ajar now. I don't fucking like this. I'm just going in. Is she in here? No. But there's a note. Mum is leaving for a week to go on a business trip. She's leaving me to take care of the house. Uh, uh, paint in this talent destroyed the family. In the end, everybody gets what they deserve, and she's getting her end right now. Oh, he's angry at his sister. For, whoa, it's gone red. He's angry at his sister for ruining the family. He blames her for the fact that he, his family is ruined. This will be the last set of our right. I can feel my right hand becoming immobile. Marx is taking care of me. I'm a burden to him and mum. He hasn't checked up on me ever since she left. I've tried everything, knocking and banging my hand against the wall, screaming. That's all I really can do since I'm immobile. Sometimes I get my hopes up hearing him walk up the stairs. Just maybe he'll walk through the door and check on me. Did I deserve this for not staying up to my parents? And letting all this happen, all of this, it's my fault. I'm sorry, Marcus. I promise I'll never be a burden to you ever again. Lilith. Wow, Lilith. Just wow. God is dead, says the radio. Turn the radio off. It's always a good idea to turn the radio off when you're not using it. Oh my! Oh! It's another one. <laughs> I've been stabbed up again. Wow, this game is fucking terrifying. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh, can it end now? Life is quiet between school and work. It's stressful. The police report, both bodies were recovered. So, the young woman was dead at the scene. After performing an autopsy, it was confirmed that the fire led to her death, but officials also found something strange. Her body was starving. What officials think occurred was during her final moments as an 
act of desperation, she lit a candle inside her room and started to fire herself. Her younger brother, Marcus Walker, might have neglected her to such a degree. She chose to end her life to ease her suffering. Emotions ranging from jealousy, hatred, enviousness, and frustration might have drove him to neglect her, despite her cries for help. Due to his unusual situation, no one is left to decide whether or not they should keep him alive in his coma. Many may wonder whether he regrets his actions, whether he regrets neglecting his sister, starving her, and psychologically torturing her to the point of suicide. Others speculate that years of domestic abuse by his father Joseph, along with neglect from his family, left him psychologically scarred. Whatever the case may be, he tortured and isolated his sister. His sister, who loved him, and did everything necessary to protect him. Hopefully all members of the family get what they deserve. In Marcus's case, he's stuck in his own personal purgatory. Stuck in a place between life and death, an eternity of suffering awaits him. Thank you for listening. This was Joseph Walker, bringing your local news. So basically, I am also a prick. Oh wow. Oh wow. Sorry. Okay. That was <laughs> the survey. Um, don't know why they called it the survey, exactly. Apart from it did a survey on the phone. I don't see how that fit in there, really, but, uh, yeah, that was fucking terrifying. If you want it, there's a link in the description. Uh, it's available on Steam. And thank you very much for watching. And until next time. <laughs> this is fucking terrifying, this game. Oh, my God. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, either way, please subscribe. Until next time, when I play something a bit less scary. Bye-bye. <laughs>